Good morning everyone, welcome to Lost Phoenix Gaming, my home of tips, tricks, guides and tunes to Forza Horizon. We're just waiting on Series 33 details at the moment, we've had the live stream and there is actually a new car out and I'm showing you the trailer for this here. It's called the Razor Tachyon and it's actually mad, it's an electric hypercar, so yeah that should be interesting and I'll show you a bit more about that later on. Although, though tomorrow, or today, as you've probably seen this, marks the launch of Forza Horizon 4 on Steam, which is quite a big development. For the first time, the Forza series has come out of the Microsoft Store. Although you will still need a Windows 10 PC, and you will still need to connect it to your Microsoft account, because that's how the leaderboards and the and the matchmaking for online play work. So you're not totally free of Microsoft on this one, unfortunately. But And to celebrate, everybody who logs into Forza Horizon between the 9th of March and the 14th of March will be getting a free car given to them. And that car is the Porsche GT3 RS, the 2019 one, you know, the green one, which is on the Backstage Pass now. That's going to get given free to everybody. So if you play between, I think it's 2 p.m. UK time on the 9th of March and 2, p and 2 p.m. UK time on the 14th of March, the next time you log into the game, you'll be gifted the car in the messages tab in the gifts. So definitely worth having because this is a really nice car. It always looks really happy to me. I like it. It's a fun car. It looks like a happy little car. And it is a backstage pass. So if you're looking at this on the backstage pass, don't buy it. Don't buy it with your backstage pass. It's just log in during these dates and you'll be able to claim this car for free and save your backstage passes for some other vehicle. Okay, right. With that out of the way, we've had the live stream. They've shown some of the events and the rewards and stuff. Although, because the update hasn't come out yet, I haven't had an opportunity to deep dive into it and find out what the restrictions are and start making car suggestions. But what I will do is go through this stuff with you guys now, knowing what was on the stream and showing you the events, the PR stunts and stuff like this. And when I do get into this more, I will go into it and start making suggestions and, and stuff. So first up, we've got Summer. 50% to get to the Mazda RX-7 85 and a 720S Spider from McLaren is your reward for 80%. Photo challenge, we're starting to see some recycled content here now. Light up my Lambo. Take a photo of any Lamborghini at the lighthouse north of Bambra. And this is one of the first ones to come out. I think it was the third challenge to come out when these came out about 35, 36 weeks ago. So we're starting to see a bit of repetition on the photo challenge. But the good thing about this is I've been in and I've done this. But I can go in and do something different. Try out some of my other ideas. And it's hashtag light up my Lambo. So yeah, cool. For the Forza Farm, we've got antiquated roadshow. Own and drive any vintage racer. So yeah, it's all vintage racer based. This has been in twice in the last 12 months. And... I will put a link in the description to my videos from when I did this within the last 12 months before, just so you can have a look and see what the challenges are. For the trial, it's called Team Lotus, and it's a Lotus 11 reward for this. And I'm assuming you're going to be driving a Lotus of some description, but past that, I'm not entirely sure because the details have not yet been revealed. The Summer Games gets you an Aston Martin 177, which is a lovely car. It is in the auto show, but it's actually quite expensive. So this is definitely an easy event if you want to go and get your rewards, because you don't actually have to win the games anymore. Just take part in them and see them through to the end. So, OK, that's interesting. The PR stunts. For the PR stunts, you've got Bamber Castle, which is that nice big jump at the top of the, the battlements, which normally appears in winter. And 
that's mad. That's absolutely mad. I have got a video up showing you how to do that. But if you're doing this in summer, it should definitely be a lot more achievable. Speed camera, Moorhead Wind Farm. Okay, fair enough. And we've got Derwent Water Speed Zone. Again, I'm not looking at any big difficulties with that at the moment until I see the requirements. But I'm sure the Mosler can handle those without too many issues. For the championships, we've got Forest Monsters, Redline Rockets and Old Habits Die Hard. So, Forest Monsters, it's a cross-country event and you get a new exclusive car for this, the Peugeot 207S, which is a really cool looking rally car. This is the first new and exclusive car for this season. You've then got Redline Rockets for a Formula D 599, which again is a mad car. This car was available in the Super 7 about three, four weeks ago. But this is a quite a nice car as well. But it's a street scene event. And if you're working at this sort of level, this is going to be street scene. And I imagine this is going to be either an S1 or an S2 event, which I could see potentially causing problems. But until the update comes out sometime in the next 24 hours, I can't sort of get in and verify the requirements for that one. Then we've got Old Habits Die Hard. It's a road racing event, and you get the Connie Seg, Regira, or Regira, or however you pronounce it. I never get this right, but that's what you get. So, PR stunts looking all right. The cross country one, that looks okay so far. Old Habits Die Hard, again, potentially that's all right. The only one I think is raising flags at the moment for me is this street racing one, Redline Rockets because I don't know what the entry requirements are, but I imagine it will be a S1 or S2, which does mean it's going to be a bit mad and potentially troublesome for a lot of people, myself included. So that should be an interesting one. But that's the summer part of the playlist. Let's move on and have a look at the autumn. The autumn playlist, 50% gets you a backstage pass, always useful. 80% gets you the Toyota MR2 95. Again, that's a really nice car. Photo challenge, a bit more recycling as well. Muddy good time. Take a photo of any extreme off-road car at the Mud Kickers Adventure Park. I think for one I did for that, I think it was a week four potentially. One I took for that originally was the Halo Warthog in the tunnel. Down at the park. And it actually looked really nice of the with the fluorescent lights and everything, it looked really cool, but I'm going to try something different for this. Forzathon, a new generation. It's all about modern rally cars. Okay, there's plenty of them to choose from. And you can have a bit of fun if you've picked up that Scooby 04 from the Super 7 this week. But I'll have a look at that in more detail when the update comes down and I see what's what. For the trial, you get the Peugeot 205 Forza Edition, again, a really cool rally car. And it's called Silicon Rally. I know, they're not getting any better of the puns, are they? Forest Sprite is the showcase remix. This one can be quite difficult because this little Sprite, this little classic sports car you have to race against the, the motorbikes on, is, oh, it's mad. This is really difficult. This is one of the ones I find the most difficult. And we should definitely be frustrating, to say the least, probably to get this done. But a few attempts at it, and I'm sure I could probably get it done. For the Autumn Games, we've got a Ferrari 288 GTO as a reward. Again, that is a really nice car. I love that Ferrari. I've used it on a couple of championships. And it is brilliant. And again, it's so easy win. You just have to take part and stay to the end. So guys, I'm telling you, if you're new players, you're coming in, you're looking at this stuff, and you're on a team with people, and people are quitting all over the place, which they will be doing, because that's what happens. Don't quit. Stay to the end, because you only have to come second at the end of a championship, and there's only two teams in the championship. So you're either going to win it, or you're going to come second. Either way, you're going to get this car, you can get this prize. 
So don't do what a lot of people do and just quit because you're not winning. Stick with it, win or lose, you get this prize. And trust me, this Ferrari is a lovely car when you put a tune on it. PR stance, Hilltop Vista, The Grange and Ambleside Approach. Okay, Hilltop Vista, yeah, okay, that's a bit of a funny off-road one. The Grange, that's the one, looking at the photos, the one that goes down towards the windmill. So, yeah, you can get a nice little run-up on that. I don't see too many issues with it. Ambleside Approach. I think this is a bit tricky. I think, if I'm right in saying this, this is the one we have to go down the mountain. And it's actually really narrow and there's a couple of really dodgy corners. So that's potentially troublesome. But we'll have a look at it in more detail when stuff goes live. Championships. German engineering for the BMW E92 M3 GTS. This car is fantastic. I love this car. This is so nice. And overnight parts for Toyota Supra 92, which again is quite a nice car. And I'm not sure quite how hard to find it really is, to be fair, but it is a really nice car. So that isn't a problem. So German engineering being the road racing, you've got the street racing for overnight parts. And I swear this was part of a backup playlist and I'm trying to think what the requirements were for it. But I can't remember offhand. We've got priceless Porsches for a Porsche Cayenne. That's a road racing, so Porsche Cayenne, priceless Porsches, road racing. Again, nothing I see too much of an issue with that one. So that's not looking too bad. Maybe a bit of a dodgy speed zone in there, but other than that, I don't see too many sort of worries. Winter, okay, right. This is where we get our next new car. 50% gets you this was Razor Riser TS 2019. And this is mad. This is truly, truly mad. And yes, when I do get a chance, I will have a dig in and do a drive round in it. And this basically is the Batmobile. It's an electric hypercar. And it's really mad. And yeah, this is basically been dubbed the Batmobile. So I'm definitely looking forward to sort of getting in on this one and giving this a blast round. The 488 Pista is your 80% reward for this one. So, okay, a couple of really nice cars for your seasonal percentages. Photo challenge, digging it. Take a photo of any rally car at the quarry, and that's the slate quarry where you tend to do the games. So, yeah, that's interesting. It's been in before. Time to do something a little different, I think. Next up, Crash and Splash, Forza Fon. It's all about extreme off-road vehicles. Fair enough. It's called Titanic. <laughs> yeah. And again, I'll go into this in more detail when I get more information. For the trial, it's called Ice Gauge. A Ford Falcon Forza Edition is your reward for that one. Beyond that, I'm not sure quite what you need at the moment. Showcase Remix. This is a good one. Assault on the Control Room. It's basically the Halo showcase event, but it's got a different name and you're in the snow. It's exactly the same as the Halo one. It's impossible to fail it. You could literally sit and do nothing for 20 minutes and you still wouldn't fail it. Just get to the end in however long it takes you. And this is quite a nice one. For the Winter Games, you get the Pontiac Trans Am 1973 with a nice big eagle on the front. Yeah, why not another classic muscle car? Can't go far wrong with that. You've got a nice muscle car for the trial and you've got a nice one for the winter games. Although they're not majorly rare, they're still pretty funky cars to have. For the PR stunts, you've got Rannock Shelf, Cops and Carden Krieg or Craig, however you pronounce it. Rannock Shelf, yeah, that's all right. That's, that's pretty respectable. I don't see issues here. Cops for the speed camera. Again, I don't see too many issues here. Carden Krieg. Yeah, I'm trying to think where that is now. And whether or not the fact that it's in winter and it's probably going to be in deep snow in parts, whether that's going to make this a bit of a pain to complete. 
I'm not sure I'll have to come back to that one, but generally that's what you got. Championships, tip of the iceberg for the Maserati Tipo Birdcage, which is actually a legendary car. It's not too expensive to buy, especially as nobody wants to buy it. I've listed so many of these, I've pulled out wheel spins on the auction house, and nobody buys them. I end up just trashing them, absolutely just trashing them, because you just can't get rid of them. But if you haven't got it, save yourself a couple of million credits and get it off the championship. Getting Cold Street. Audi TT RS, lovely car. This is an absolutely lovely car. And that's a street scene event. I imagine that would probably be an A-class event, maybe. So nothing which would cause too many headaches. And finally, cold storage. You get the Jeep Cherokee 14. That's a cross-country. It's a good vehicle for cross-country. I tend to go for a Trackhawk version, the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk version. But that's, that's decent. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Street scene event, which should be interesting. Road racing should be fine. Same with cross-country. So that's not bad. That's winter. Just a slightly questionable speed zone without going in and sort of looking at it in winter. Now we're on to spring. We come full circle and we're on to spring season. Backstage pass is your reward for 50%. 80% gets you the Toyota MR2 89, which is a pretty nice car. And of course you get the backstage pass for 50% seasonal. And 80% seasonal gets you the Alpine A110, which again is a lovely car. Photo challenge. Take a photo of any cult car at Mortimer Gardens. Not garden variety. I'm getting some deja vu on these, to be fair. We're basically looping right back round on some of the originals. Again, some pretty funny. I might see if I can get that Robin Reliant on its roof in a water shop working. Because I just could not get that before. I end up going for a... For a BMW Isetta. But yeah, that should be an interesting one. Forza Farm. Proceed at a high velocity. Own and drive any Super GT car. That should be fun. And I'm going to say now, I'm probably, at this moment in time, looking to go for the Aston Martin DB11 for this. Because that's one of my favourite Super GTs in the game. It just comes down to whether... Or not, you need to do any crazy speed camera sort of work. So I'm not sure if this is a one. We need to get three stars at this speed camera in Edinburgh. I might be wrong. But if it is, I might need to do some upgrading or have a think about my choice of cars. But other than that, moving on. The trial Easter buggy for a rabbit outfit. Yeah, you can tell it's that time of year again. Everyone's going hopping mad and crazy. and Yeah, okay. So I take it it's going to be buggies, right? They're going to be in buggies, I guess. Spring Games with a number 11 Ford F-150 truck. Again, that's a cool truck. I like that. I'm not too fan on... I'm not too much of a fan of a lot of the trucks in the game, but that 150 is, is brilliant. I love it. PR Stunts. Northbound, which is a nice big jump over the motorway. Slate quarry for a camera. Okay, that's that's actually not too bad. And never end, which I think is an off-road speed zone. I can't remember if I've had issues with that before, but I'm sure it's pretty doable, given enough runs, you know. So nothing there at the moment which is going to cause me sort of too many worries. For the championships we've got, Wood Friday for the Alfa Romeo TZ2. Lovely car. Again, road racing. Happy enough with that. Then we've got Connie Seg Hunt. Not Easter Egg Hunt. Connie Seg Hunt. And you get some rabbit ears to go with a rabbit suit. And it's a street racing event. Which does flag a bit of a concern because... Being Connie Seg, and I'm assuming you're going to have to use a Connie Seg of some description. I imagine this is probably going to be an S2 event. Street scene in S2, this is going to be like 10 tons of crazy. And at least it's not in winter, right? At least it's not in winter. But I see this being 
opportunity to swear a little bit of a screen. We've got Scramble Megs, a dirt racing event. Fun, fun, I love them. And you get the Forza edition of the Renault 5 Turbo, which is my daily driver. Lovely car, and we've had it recently for, I think, the trial it was, or the Playground Games. And yeah, that's a good car. Scramble Megs, yeah, I'm not seeing any issues there. The only thing I'm looking at here and thinking, you know what, that may be a bit of a pain in the backside, would be this Koenigsegg Hunt for the street racing, much in the same way you've got the summer season, which gives you the street racing for the drift car, which I'm assuming is going to be an S1 or an S2 anyway, so that could be slightly annoying or completely annoying, depending on what the specs are, but that is that, guys. That's actually that. That's a quick look through. I'm expecting the update to come down sometime in the next 24 hours. And when it does, I'll have a deep dive in. I'll get the requirements up. I'll get some car suggestions together. I'll put some tunes together and put my usual first look video out. And basically gives you guys you a chance to get ahead as much as possible ready for a seasonal changeover. And I would, again, like to thank everybody who subscribed recently, hit a like button, left me a comment and stuff. I do appreciate it. I've had a bit of a stressy weekend and it's sort of nice just to sort of come in and sort of calm down a little bit and say, you know what, let's just, just get on with this stuff and have some fun, you know, and stop stressing about stuff. So until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Take it easy and happy driving.